Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video, I will explain you what is the pre-net IP address in post-net zone. So when you are going for the Palo Alto interview or the network security engineer, so interviewer may be asked some questions like what is the difference between pre-net IP address and post-net zone? What can you explain pre-net IP and post-net concept in Palo Alto firewall? So you have to explain in a very simple way okay this is not very big questions okay so you think about it and uh, you can give the answer in very quickly manner so we will understand what is it exactly okay so this is my lab actually palo alto virtual lab okay i, I configure the firewall in my virtual lab so i will take the example here so i configure the security policy uh, under the NAT policy, we can see, I will take the example of this policy, okay? So I will uh, explain you what is the pre-NET IP address in post-NET zone and uh, why this concept comes in the into the firewall, in the Palo Alto firewall only, okay? Another firewall, we not hear this word like pre-NET IP in post-NET zone. So, uh, so, so team, I, in this video, I will explain properly. Okay. So hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thanks for coming on my channel. If you're not subscribed, so please subscribe it. So whenever I upload the video, you will get notification. Okay. Also hit the bell icon, right? So, and if you have any questions, I will try to explain everything related uh, to the pre-net IP and post-net zone. Still, you have any doubt. So you can uh, put uh, in the comment chat. You can ask me in the comment box. I will try to make another video also if your doubt will not clear, okay? So I will take the example. So in this video, I will take the example of this NAT policy and explain you by taking the example of this NAT policy and uh, give you the explanation about the pre-NET IP and post-NET zone, okay? So let's get started time. Uh, so so before understanding uh, the concept, we need to understand the packet flow, okay? If you understand the packet flow, then you definitely uh, got the proper uh, idea about this concept, okay? So I will not explain the a full packet flow. I just explain the a few basic uh, one or uh, in the two or three points only. So you will be having the idea. Okay. If you want to complete packet flow, then uh, you comment me. Uh, you can uh, comment on the chat box. I will make the complete uh, or any uh, very easily language. So you will uh, understand properly packet flow. Okay. So, but in this video, I will explain very few things about the packet flow. So you will have the idea about the uh, this concept okay so let me open uh, my one note okay so team here you can see so you need to understand this flow logic first okay so uh, you know very well the palo alto firewall is next generation firewall okay this is the zone based firewall this is not the interface based firewall like when the packet hit on first the packet hit on the interface so this thing's happening in other firewall, but in the Palo Alto packet hit on the zone because this is a zone based firewall, right? So in a, when the packet in a initial stage, you can see in the last, we have the option like uh, evoluting the NAT policy. Okay, I will show you by the marker. So here you can see the NAT policy evoluted, right? So during the, when the packet is initiated, your NAT policy will evolute it. Okay, and then it will check the port number allow or, or not. Okay, if the port not allow, then the the session will discard, session will not create it. If the uh, port numbers allow, so then your session will create it. So see, uh, these things we are uh, not discussing actually. Okay, so once the net policy is evoluted, so in the last packet stage, you can see uh, uh, after the packet for so here you can see the policy is evoluted and in the last you can see your policy applied okay so why these things is happening in the palo alto okay so because due to the pre-net ip and post-net zone concept okay because pre-net ip once the policy evoluted okay uh, during the evolution uh, during the initial process your policy your uh, net policy will evolute it okay and in the lastly net policy will apply it okay so 
that that's why the concept comes in the Palo Alto, like prenet IP and postnet. Uh, let me take one example here. Prenet what will be our prenet IP address and our postnet June. I will open this NAT policy. And here you can see what will be the source zone will be our trust zone because this is the internet access net policy. And here, whatever the source IP address we mention here, our local lane IP address, our local lane subnet, okay, which we, which will be the 192.168.0.30.0 slash 24. This will be our prenet IP address, okay, team. So this will be our prenet IP address and the after the netting our all the IP address our local IP address will convert it to this live IP address. Okay, so this will be our prenet IP address. And if I go to explain about the postnet zone. So under the security policy. This is my internet access policy. So under the destination tab here you can see the destination zone so destination zone will be our untrust zone this will be our post net zone means after the netting what will be our zone applicable so this zone will applicable okay so i hope your doubt is clear in this video okay this is very small video where i try to explain you this concept because a lot of the engineer has some confusion that's why i make this video okay when uh, i'm giving any session to some of the engineer they ask some question related to this postnet and prenet uh, ip address so that's why i make this video i have one question team for you okay and give me answer in the comment box i take the example of this source net policy okay under the policy i have one question listen very carefully if you are uh, like a good engineer then definitely give the answer in a comments box so i take the example of this source net okay which will be using to access the internet on our local machines okay so in that case our this ip address will be our prenet ip address and destination zone which is which we use in a security policy react as a, our postnet zone but what will happen if i configure the destination net policy here okay suppose i will add one destination policy okay and uh, so in that case my packet uh, like uh, my trust zone will be this okay destination zone also will be this but what will be our this source uh, what will be our ip address what will ip address will become our uh, prenet IP address and what will be our postnet zone in case of if I configure the destination zone policy. So please uh, comment the answer of it or if you not clear the doubt so you can ask me again in the comment box I will make the separate video for it. Okay team so I hope you enjoy this video if you want this kind of the video please subscribe my channel and support me. Okay, so I will uh, motivate it and create the more video for it. So thank you very much team. Thanks for watching my video.